Um, all right, guys, let's talk about what we're dealing with outside because we've got some rain that's moving in. Right now, what you can see, you look at this picture, you can see a couple of raindrops on the lens. You got some low clouds out there. It's not a pretty picture. It hasn't been a pretty picture all day long. But the difference is, we've had the cloud cover all day long. Now, we are catching the raindrops, checking in on the temperature. It's 46 degrees outside. Again, the low clouds, lower visibility, some light rain. We do believe that light rain is going to pick itself up in spots out there for some heavier waves that will come in here overnight, possibly with us at times during the morning commute. You pick up about a half an inch to maybe an inch and a half of rain. Otherwise, you get to the afternoon hours, and I don't think there's so much rain in the afternoon hours. I think it's cloudy for your day tomorrow, but not so much rain. Thursday will come with a second round of rain, and this will have similar totals, if not even more rain because we are seeing signs of some stronger cells getting their act together for Thursday. So when you look outside right now, the radar picture picks up on the, the rain that's falling, the light green and the darker green. It's not too much, but there are a couple of drops out there. If you look down around, say, Long Beach Island, zoom in tight there, you got a couple of, you know, moderate showers out there. Look at this little offshore thunderstorm out there. And you can see there is a line. Okay, right here with some heavier rain and right behind this, watch, there's a secondary line that's going to come through as well. So that's your overnight rain and you'll have some for the morning drive as well. And then it's going to be more cloudy, okay, in the afternoon hours. The next chance for rain is right here. This is Thursday's round. And this system doesn't look nearly as impressive as the system that we're watching right now approach. But this, I believe, I think it's going to find itself in a, in a situation, in an atmosphere that's going to be conducive for this one to get stronger. So I think that's going to give us probably in the end more rain. So the first system gives us anywhere from a half an inch to about an inch and a half of rain, 1.2 for the city. That's that Wednesday morning rain, all right, the overnight and Wednesday morning. Then you get to the, the rain on Thursday, and that puts down, I mean, my goodness, potentially putting down, you know, two to three inches of rain for Brentwood. So a grand total there of 4.4. You're about three inches in the city. A widespread, you know, two to four inches perhaps for our area. That would be um, a, a big dousing for us. The temperatures, 54 for your day tomorrow. We talk about any of that heavy rain is really with us for the first half of the day, not the second half of the, rain, of, of the day. And the heavy rain comes in bouts. Not everyone's dealing with it. Uh, as I said earlier, if you have it during the morning commute, it will make it problematic. 53 on Thursday is opening day at Yankee Stadium. I think the rain could be a problem. Uh, heavier rounds would be later in the day, but it's certainly out there even during the daytime. Uh, then you get through the weekend, Sundays, you're better day and Monday and Tuesday of next week look to be just great as you go back to work. All right. Thank you, Lonnie. Okay, All right.